everyone. You know, I'm wearing my bunny ears again. But this time, it's not about the bunny. It's not about this little guy. It's about this. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, this is starting to get really awkward. I cannot look like this. Um, I feel I'm, I'm trapped. Uh, yeah, so I have my mermaid tail on. And this is definitely going to be related to something. Definitely. Later. The next day. One eternity later. another craft if you saw my uh, cloud craft video and this craft will be related uh, to mermaids yes 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 to mermaids so today we're gonna be making a paper mermaid doll and it's very easy I'm telling you now let's get started I don't want to catch the chase it's already been 23 something I don't know a little bit of Okay, so what we need first is hello, Mr. Care. This is Mr. Care. He's my mascot. And so what we need for this craft are not only these things. Okay, I'm just going to say them. We need scissors. We need yarn or thread if you have, or if you don't have any of those. And I'm going to show you how to make something else that we need other than this. Some decorations if you want. Uh, a colored paper of whichever color you want a plain paper, a glue stick, a pencil, and okay, no, not that. this. You can use markers or colored pencils if you want. I'm using markers because I don't know where the heck my colored pencils are. So let's get started. So first, we are going to, to for the mermaid doll, we need to make the tail, okay? So just put these things aside. Do not mind on the bottom part right there. That's what I'm saying. So first we're going to make our tail. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our pencil and trace out a tail. So I'm just going to trace out a nice tail. Okay? A nice tail. You know, this is this is way too big. I don't know what I just did. Never mind. Let's do it. Let's, I'm going to try this again. Okay. Gonna make it nice, decent, very nice. It's supposed to be. Okay, so your tail should look something like this, okay? Something like that. It's nice. And then something like my tail, which you can't see. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. There. And then now, you're gonna cut out your tail, okay? But before you cut out your tail, you're gonna use any marker. Uh, don't mind that part and you can use any marker or color pencil you want and you can draw a design on your tail okay so I'm gonna be doing a nice uh, old-fashioned design I'm not so good at doing designs because I haven't done it once again in like maybe a decade 15 years maybe even a trillion but we're gonna work with this okay just bear with me Okay, so, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. Okay, so as you can see, I'm trying to do like a scale pattern. It's not on my tail, but probably on other original tails that I've never seen before. And, okay, so I'm just gonna do half of it and I'm gonna color in the bottom part. So I'm just gonna do that, do that, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna improvise myself. You know, I'll be right back. Okay, folks, the mermaid is done, aka the, the human child, just wearing a tail that was bought from somewhere. Anyway, so over here, I'm done with my tail. Now I'm gonna cut it out, okay? 
I'm going to cut out my tail. So, uh, this is... I need to do this very delicately, okay? Wait, if you don't do this delicately, you, you might end up with some sort of chicken. I don't know. You might, you might be able to cut out a chicken if you're an origami master or something. But yeah. So now I'm cutting out my tail. You probably can't see it because I'm trying to concentrate. Okay. 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 This is taking a while. Okay. So now that we're done, I'm done cutting my mermaid tail. Now what we're gonna do? is we need our white paper, okay, white paper. And what we're gonna do is put our mermaid tail, stick our mermaid tail on the paper. And, and you can either do it land, landscape or portrait, but make sure it's just below like this, okay, in the middle, something like that. Or if you're doing it portrait, then at least like that, okay? So I'm gonna stick my tail over here with my glue. Okay, guys, so now I'm done sticking my tail onto my paper, and I, as you can see, I did it uh, landscape. I don't know the diff I, I don't know like which one is landscape or portrait. I might have said it wrong, but right? whatever. So I'm done sticking onto this. Now what we're gonna do is draw the half, the other half of the mermaid. Okay. So you put so um as you know, a mermaid is half fish, half human. So what you're gonna do? I'm gonna take my markers or colored pencils, if you will. I'm gonna get a kind of peachy color, I don't know, but, so I don't have any peach, but I'm just gonna use this, this is close enough, okay? Don't, don't mind anything. So, I'm now gonna draw a body, body, body. So, uh, hold on, this is gonna take a while, I'm gonna be back. So I, hold on, I'm gonna be back again. I don't know why I said it two times, but I'm still gonna be back. Okay, once again, the mermaid is back. And right now, okay, is, do you hear that sound? No, no, never mind. So I'm doing the arms right now. So this is how it, how it looks so far. I think it looks decent. It looks fine, I think. So I couldn't draw a perfect hand. I just draw those round circles like an anima animator. So I don't know if anyone does that. But so yeah, so now I'm gonna be having trouble drawing the head, but, but just wish me good luck, okay? So I'm trying like my best because I don't know how. Like it's easy to draw the the head to the to the legs, but it's hard to draw like the legs or or in our case tail to the head. So I'm trying to to calculate something now. I'm trying to you know, just trying, okay? Do not laugh if I make a bad thing, okay? So, let's see, I'm just gonna draw the head, okay? I'm drawing the head, don't worry. I'm drawing the head, okay? You, you can do this, come on. Come on, you can do this, people out there. Okay, I did it! So now, now that I've drawn the head, what you can do if you don't have your yarn, like I mentioned earlier before in the intro of the video, over here, as you can see, I have yarn. So I'm gonna be using this for the hair, but if you don't have yarn, what you could do is either use thread or you, or you can draw your hair. But I'm gonna be using yarn for this, and I'm just basically gonna uh, cut up strips of the yarn evenly, and then I'm gonna stick them on the hair and make them nice, okay? So I'll be right back again. So I decided I'm gonna be doing pink hair for my mermaid, and I'm gonna be doing like that, okay? So I'm gonna stick it right now, so I'm gonna be back when I'm done. Okay, guys, so now that I'm done, okay, I forgot to put the cap on my glue again. I'm screwing it on. Anyway, so now I'm finally done with the hair, and now I'm gonna do the face, and I'm gonna show you what to do next, okay? So right now, as you do the face, you can do a very nice face. Okay, so you, I'm gonna draw my face now. I'm gonna draw a nice mouth. Some nice black original eyes. And I'm, and I'm taking this very serious. I'm definitely not being sarcastic. Okay, so I'm also gonna draw a nose to, to add some detail, okay? So there you go. I'm done with the face, and now I'm gonna add some cheeks, like, you know, some blush. Maybe they have underwater 
waterproof, uh, waterproof. I said waterproof. I mean waterproof brushes, waterproof uh, makeup, you know? So there you go. So that's my mermaid all done, but we still need to add something, okay? So if you want to make some nice details in this, you can either use shimmers like me. I'm gonna add a flower onto her hair, or you can also draw some bubbles or some coral reef stuff like that to even a treasure chest next to the mermaid so that she can look like, so it looks like she's getting treasure, but yeah, so I'm gonna be right back when I'm done with my decorations because I'm also getting so hot in the mermaid tail. Okay you guys, so I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of my decoration. So, this is how it is so far. I think it looks cute, I love it. So I added a fan in her hand and then I added some uh, seaweed and then I also added a flower on her head. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue and I'll be back again. All right, you guys, so I am finally done with this masterpiece of mine. And here it is. So this is the final look of the mermaid underwater craft. That, you know, this looks amazing, especially because once again, I'm gonna say I feel so high in my tail, but it's just for the video, okay? So I really hope you enjoyed this video of me making this really cool mermaid picture, aka doll that is in the picture, in the paper, you know? So yeah, please share this with your friends so that they can do this too. Share with your brothers or sisters, share with your mama or dad, and then you can also share with your cousins, your niece, your, your nephew, anyone. So yeah. I'll see you next time in my next video and goodbye!